So we deploy the Argo CD. Yes, I can see. And that. after that, we downloaded the uh, Argo CD CLI also. Now let's do this. So one is done. This is also done. Now we have to access the CD API server. Okay. So how do we do that? So for that, now this command, you know what we'll do. Please understand this. Uh, this this stuff I'm doing, okay? So this command, what they will do? They will create, this is the service, okay? Let me show you just again. Can you see my screen, right? Yep. QCTL get get NS QCTL get all hyphen and Argo City. Now here if you look at it here. Okay. So these are the server. This is a repo server, a Redis server for cache, metrics an application controller okay so these are the services which we have out of which you are argo cd server which is service which is uh, this is the one i guess okay so this is the service one thing just again Shouldn't it be a node port service? Uh, it's showing a cluster IP there. So here, if you look at it, this is the cluster IP. And I want to expose to the node port. Uh, why node port? Because load balancers are not there. So here, I'm going to make it. This is for node port. OK, it's done. <coughs> So that way, what will happen? Node port means IP address of node plus port number that you can access it. So that we are trying to do. So just so I want to validate one step. So install CD. and downloaded this one I did and this one okay so this one I am going to run this so repo server Just a second. I'm getting, uh, can you confirm me how many, uh, can you run this command and tell me in the services, how many services you have? Why I'm getting a little confused with the output? Because one component I am feeling that is missing. So can you run this command and tell me how many services you are, you are getting? Four or five? Checking. Yeah. I'm getting eight. Services eight you are having? Yeah. Uh, I think my installation is not perfect. Can you share your screen? I just want to check. Sure. Yeah. I was doubting because I was seeing the number of less services. <coughs> so I thought it must be some latest installation, but I'm not seeing that app server. Can you share your screen? Yeah, I'm doing that. One second.
Veamos los siguientes. Service. Yeah, these are all the services. Ah, the, your installation. I don't know, maybe my installation did not happen properly. So nothing, not to worry. I will rerun this YAML file one more time. Uh, not sure why it did not happen successfully. Uh, but not to worry, just again. And now, All of you? Yeah. So here, now also I'm having the right one. So what I'm going to focus on this one, Argo CD. Now, if you look at this, Argo CD is running on 80 port and 443 for HTTPS. Okay, HTTP port is 80 and HTTPS port 443. This is the clustered IP. And I want to access it. Argo CD server. So how do I do, do that? So for that, I am going to run this command and clear the screen and this one. I'm not using load, load balancer or ingress. That. Can I do, can I see that now? Now if I see that, the port number is 31142. So that means this service, which is Argo CD software service, which got exposed to 31142. And this I wanted. So instead of, I, uh, instead of understand that guys, instead of me uh, setting up the load balancer, I did with a node port. You can use ingress also if you are comfortable with it. Now, this is another way you can also do port forwarding. This is also multiple ways are to, to do that. It's up to you. Okay. Now, uh, you can log in using the CLI. And again, this uh, you have to read it. Uh, just go slow from here. So you have to log in using CLI. For that, you need a password. So you need a immediate the password which you needed. So where is the password and token is available? This is a secret actually. See here. Secret uh, for this and the password you needed. How do you get it? So I'll just put these steps in this here after this step number six and login using CLI for that you need a password and for the password you need to run this command uh, argo, need, argo, argo cd namespace get secret this is the secret and you are showing the output of data dot password and here what is that any idea this base 64 encryption hmm. So remember that uh, config map and difference between config map uh, and uh, difference between config map and uh, secret is this the only difference. Uh, here you can encode it, secret is encoded, config map is not encoded. So I'm going to get the password. Again, this password you can store it. this so uh, this is my password don't get confused don't copy my password also so this is done now after that you have to log in using this command so this is the command for login and uh, here you have to give the ip address and and all stuff like that so default username is admin here and password which we got it log into our argo cds and hostname so if you are in the same machines you don't have to uh, specify this argo cd ip address or hostname so this is the stuff now there is one notes also given it to, you to automate this up stuff if you don't want to pass the cd password and all what you can do you can set this environment variable also so option number one 
set this environment variable option 2 and option number 1 you can add this work here so login command you can forward namespace or argo cd whatever it is so you can change the password and that's all after this we will migrate to ui part so guys i got the password and login what is the argo cd server so this what, is the is server. ip address or what is yes, it yes. or we is yes. optional yeah it's the same machine if you are on uh, you can use automatically it will use the kubectl configurations for it so okay. automatically they will use the kubectl configuration but otherwise uh, if it's not then it's an ip address or what is it then ip address yes then okay. you have to give the ip port number port number by default is 8443 that's it yeah yeah so this this login okay fine yeah this is a cli login yeah so now let's first login i got the password i got a username now from here we will migrate to ui part Okay. Can you put the link over here for this page? Uh, just so that it's. Yes. Now I'm migrating to UI part. So first thing I need to get IP address of mine. So my IP address is this one. And this is my IP address I'm noting in my, my box. Okay. I mean notepad. Just. IP address. Okay, just a second. Give me two What's your mobile number? This IP address is what IP address? Your uh, is your uh, instance or? No, this is my instance IP address. Okay. And. Just go outside. Yeah. And this is your port, okay? All of you are able to understand that, right? Right. Yeah. And this one. Uh, but remember that I have not launch the certificate by default HTTPS go for it and create a certificate you can load it so first get comfortable with the UI okay after that once you get comfortable with UI then you can play with the command also it will be easy for you remember that you have a super access uh, with this user ID and password and this logo is nice actually this is one of the C creature. I am not able to remember the name of it. It looks like an octopus. Ah, yeah, correct. You are right. Yeah, octopus. Now, this is your Argo CD. So, now first we will play with UI part. And once you get comfortable with the conceptually, then we will migrate to command line also. Did you understand that, all of you? Yeah, so do we now uh, work towards getting the UI up as yeah. next steps? Yeah, so don't use my this one and uh, all this stuff, but I'm updating the notes. Right. And uh... Hello, everyone. If you would like to access the remaining videos of this playlist or 50 plus more tools, which are coming under DevOps, DevSecOps, SRE, DataOps, GitOps, ETC, kindly become our channel members by clicking on the joining button. You would have access to 100s of playlists and 1000s of videos lifetime access with this membership. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Want to study further? Join our training programs today.